experimental drug is making waves nationwide, and a local hospital is at the forefront of that trial. Camera 7's Allison Grandy talked to the doctor in charge at Evergreen Health. At the Eastside Hospital, once inundated with patients dying from coronavirus, they now have something to celebrate, the results of a clinical trial. Remdesivir was first developed to treat Ebola. Now it's shortening the symptoms of coronavirus. So four days uh, means a lot, especially if you are in intensive care unit intubated. You know, it, it definitely is a game uh, changer, definitely. Dr. Diego Lopez de Castilla is the lead investigator of the remdesivir trial at Evergreen Health in Kirkland. The results show it cuts the symptoms severely. The first thing that we felt when we uh, heard about the results was uh, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. The study showed hospitalized patients who took the drug recovered in 11 days compared to 15 days for those given a placebo, a 31% improvement. The data shows that remdesivir has a clear cut significant positive effect in diminishing the time to recover. The second arm of the clinical trial at Evergreen eliminates the placebo and instead gives all patients remdesivir. Then for half of the patients, they will add a drug to suppress the body's immune response to the virus. Um, was on, put on a 10 day trial and was done with it in four days. It worked so quickly. Phil Snyder was hit with coronavirus in March. In the ER at Providence Everett, he was offered remdesivir. I had energy. Uh, the fever was no longer there. Um, I could breathe normal. I was still on oxygen. Uh, did not have to go on the ventilator, which, uh, which was really instrumental. Now doctors are eager to learn more about remdesivir's impact on mortality. And really, I think what we'd like to know is, uh, is there a, a difference in mortality? Are, are we seeing uh, any improvement in people uh, who receive remdesivir with respect to whether or not they, they survive? Uh, and I think those uh, studies hopefully will be coming out soon. In the trial at Evergreen, they gave the medicine to the sickest patients, but many of them were so sick and on ventilators, they couldn't consent. So instead, they had to work with their families. And the doctor told me he gave them his cell phone number so they could call him and text him. He wanted to make sure they knew their loved one was more than a number in a clinical trial. Mm -hmm. Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News.